Hey guys, so today's video is a makeup tutorial on this look right here. I wanted to do something blue because I was really inspired by this palette right here. This is the Morphe 35D. I know that everybody's using the 35O palette right now, which is calling my name because it's full of oranges and those are my favorite kinds of colors. But I thought, you know what? I'm going to step out of my comfort zone. I'm not going to do an orange smoky eye today. I'm going to do a blue one. So I just focused on the blue colors in this palette. This is a very pigmented palette. It's pretty freaking amazing. I will link it down below if you're interested. So yes, I think it's really pretty. Sometimes blue scares me and sometimes I feel like I can't pull it off, but I decided to run with it. And if you want to see how to get this look, then just keep watching. Okay, so I've already primed my eyes with my MAC 24 hour extended eye base and I did go into this palette as well, not just the Morphe palette. This is the Too Faced Naturally Matte palette because the Morphe one lacks crease shades and stuff like that. So I just applied that vanilla color on my entire lid to set the primer and now I'm going in with this one. I believe it was called Cashmere Bunny on a fluffy brush and that's going to be my transition shade then i'm taking that really intense blue in the palette now this one does work a lot better with fix plus um so i just sprayed some fix plus on my brush this is an elf brush and i dipped it back into the eyeshadow and then applied it like that onto my lid so it can be really 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 intense and frosty now i'm going to take this matte navy blue and on this little pencil brush I'm just gonna start applying this into my crease. Now, this look looks a little messy and sloppy before it looks good, so you know, just take your time with it. I'm just putting this into my crease back and forth and trying to blend the shimmery blue with the matte blue. Then I'm going into this color called Honey Butter. This is in the Too Faced palette. And on a fluffy crease brush, I am just trying to blend out the harsh lines. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with Chocolate Crepe. Just trying to blend everything into the crease. This um look requires a lot a lot of blending then i'm gonna go back into that blue i'm not gonna spray fix plus but i'm just gonna intensify the lid a little bit more since you blend so much uh, a lot of it does get blended away now i'm going into this other shimmery navy blue the other one was like a matte navy blue this one's a shimmery one and i'm doing the same thing i did with the navy blue just make sure everything is nice and blended and all the crease colors fade into each other Back again with Cashmere Bunny, and I am just further blending. Lots of blending, lots and lots of blending. I'm going to take this Coastal Scents brush and this matte black in the palette, and I'm going to start pack this on the outer corners. I want the drama to be like on the outer corner of the lid. I want it to go from like black to blue, so I'm just packing on that black. And I guess I forgot I was filming a tutorial, but I just put that vanilla shade under my brow bone, the same one I used on my lid. Okay, so moving on to my face before I finish my eyes, I am priming my face with the Becca Black Light Filter Primer, I believe that's what it's called. I am obsessed with this, I think it's amazing. Then I went in with the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation in Shell Beige. I believe that's the number I have. And I'm using this with a Real Techniques Complexion Sponge. And I am just bouncing that on my whole face. I love this foundation, but I do need to use a very luminizing primer and a sponge with it. Because if not, it looks too dry and cakey. Then underneath my eyes, I decided to use my NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer. I haven't used it in a hot minute. So I'm using vanilla underneath my eyes. And I'm also highlighting with this. And I'm just blending everything out with the same Real Technique sponge. Now I'm going to take the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder and I'm just going to set my under eye concealer. So moving on to my face again, I mean my eyes, this is Max Nylon Eyeshadow. It's a really intense color so I use that in my inner corners. Then I'm going to take this Tarte Tartist Gel Liner, Cream Liner thing and this is a little Sigma brush and I'm taking this liner all the way into my inner corners like my inner tear duct as you can see and then I'm dragging that on my waterline so not only am I doing a wing with this but I'm gonna put it in my inner corners like a cat eye Egyptian kind of effect and on my waterline and then I'm just gonna do a little flick 
and this is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. And for my bottom lashes, I wanted a blue color. I thought it would look really cool. So this is the They're Real Mascara by Benefit in their blue shade. And it's really, really cool. I like how it turned out. I think it's different. I didn't put any eyeshadow on my lower lashes just for a little bit of a change. And then I put on some falsies. Those were the Morphe Demi Wispies. So to contour, I'm going to do a soft contour with my Girl Lactic Cabo Bronzer. This is a Morphe G something brush from the Gunmetal Collection. It's their powder brush. And I'm just using this brush because it does apply a soft amount, like a light amount of product. So I'm just contouring and bronzing with that. For my highlight, I am using ColourPop's Wisp Highlight. It's beautiful. And I love applying this with a sponge. I can apply it with a synthetic brush too, but I really like how the sponge applies it. I'm also highlighting my nose, you know. Okay, so for blush, I am using the Clinique Nude Pop Blush Pop. For my lips, I'm taking ColourPop's Lip Liner in BFF. And I'm just gonna line my entire lips with this, like all over the place, all over my lips. And then I'm just gonna top it off with the NARS lip gloss in the shade Chelsea Girls. Chelsea Girls. And then that completes this look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.